Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the Lasses of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Otto Heinrich Dreschler Lover, but we gotta talk about the Sieg of Jakobstadt. It's becoming a motto amongst Poppies that God has forsaken awesome. And recent events only seem to cement this feeling. Amidst the military egos of Stadlacher, Dreschler, and Jakobs, a new strategy emerges in Lettland. Jakobstadt, old Jakob Jakobpils to the natives, has been one of the most shining beacons of German blood. A successful demonstration of what Lebendram means. The city is now home to thousands of good citizens of the Reich, working and thriving in the true spirit of what many hope might have become Eastern Germania. This jewel of uh, let Galim. It seems was too shiny a trophy in the chaos of our present situation, and the vintage Jew himself, Abba Kovner, with his united partisan organization, has seized control of the defense of the city. Reports are coming in from across the region that Germanized settlements are being ransacked and burned to the ground by these rogue militants. The horror does not stop there. Let Galim's capital, it seems, was only the beginning of the UPO's efforts. It quickly becomes apparent that it is an infantile center for what Kovner sees as a wider campaign, and what is clear to be a maturing civil war, at least those paying attention to new actors just joined the stage. And to Kovner? Right from Kovner? Well, someone, there was a co one comment saying that we should play as Kovner, but, um, you know, well, we'll do that for now. We won't go with uh, Dresher for now, but Vilna revolts. As the situation in Austin continues to degrade, and the last script of the Rock becomes ever looser, those who would be afraid to speak their displeasure grew bolder. With. Or before one would scarcely dare criticize Germania or the Reich's commissary leadership for fear of seeing the inside of a prison cell, or perhaps worse, those called voices were finally raised. As order degenerated, dissidents brought chaos. The voices of our formers bolstered by the liberal students grew ever louder. With the thin days, the streets of Vilna, always a hotbed of liberalism and a thorn in the side of Austin, were packed with reformers and students of protest had no specific list of demands, no manifesto. The only common platform that those packing into the streets of Austin shared was an end to the corruption and the oppression of a certain ideology. Protests soon turned to riots as the overstretched Vilna police forces, stranded without support, were forced to concede block after block to the protests and riots. As dissidents roamed unimpeded throughout the city and surrounding dependencies, one could scarcely claim that the region was a possession of the Reich. Despite all appearances, however, there was no riffraff of anarchists, looters, and never duels. They were now without a benefactor. The movement which had sprouted into riots and rebellion had been bankrolled and supported by one Andreas Meyer Landreth, a business mogul known for his grand commercial and industrial successes throughout Austin. Following the collapse of the Reich control in Vilna, he wasted no time in fixing himself as a figurehead of this ragtag movement. With support so generously provided by Meyer Landrut and a lack of greater goal in the movement, most are largely accepted of this new demagogue. Meyer Landrut had since declared the formation of the Vereinigte Auslandliga, Auslandilg, Auslandliga, rallying reformists and liberals under his banner with the hopes of taking Austin by force of arms. Which will probably play as well, but we already have this pretty much set up. We're going to release the berserkers and a gun under every blade of grass. Now, one step of soil can be lost in this battle for Austin's existence. Every town, occupied by the Protestants, provides more peasants to join the cause every step back from the traitor forces and unconscionable accumulation. Every German must be armed, for this is their fight, and those few natives we can trust it well, as well. With a rifle behind every tree, a mine under every road, and enemies will fear to traitor soil. The Siege of, Rie Siege of Riga. <clears throat> the City of Riga. Once HQ of Hindrick Lose's Arx Commissar Austin has denigrated into Stalaker's personal fortress. Uh, disputing this, oh, look at this. Oh, corrupt the bureaucrats claim to succession. Drushler's rallied his brave men to march into Riga and take his rightful place as a new ruler and Rex Commissar, facing expected resistance from Stalaker's lackeys. The Drushler's force have now initiated full scale assault of the city. Civil war has come to awesome. The fighting's longevity has been matched by only by its intensity. Gunshots and explosions can be heard throughout Riga as soldiers pour into the streets. Grenades fly through the air as artillery fire pounding into buildings and tanks rolling down the roads. Innocent civilians and soldiers alike have been brutalized by Stalaker's men in desperation to maintain the status quo have led them to follow the bespeckled worm claiming to be Loza's true successor. Despite their barrages and explosive traps, their armies will crush the forces of corruption. Stalaker and his sycophants will be shot without mercy and soon Otto Heinrich Dreschel will secure his rightful place as ruler of Austin. A glorious fate awaits us. So now we're at war with them. We're just gonna, I'm honestly just kind of waiting. The Black Five them. Friedrich Jacob and his Burgundian thugs have thrown the Austin Civil War into a greater state of chaos. The Black Sun is set over Duneburg, which has been forcibly torn away from Stalaker's territory by Schutzstaffel tyrants. For once, Stalaker and Drusher are united. Both rivals are accusing Jacob of being a traitor to the Reich and a mere puppet of the nefarious Himmler, who wishes to expand his Burgundian influence throughout Europe in order to pervert the cause of national daddyism. Stalaker and Drusher have both called out for SS troops to abandon their five to and join the side of the Civil War. Yako naturally rejected such insult. It claims to be bringing impurity back to Austin by crushing those who have corrupted national socialism for their own selfish ends. Let's end this bad man once and for all. Hmm. We can't go under there. So. It's just kind of hard to tell who's at war with whom. So, Ausland and. That's just Oberabschnitt Auslan. Lutlin. Well, you know what? Yep. 
this is first. Thank you, thank you. Are we going to actually go to war with these guys? No, the UPO joins the war. Okay, there. The legions of desperate partisans united behind the full, foul cause of Abba Kovner. A new challenge to the leadership of Austin has entered the fray. Having carved out their own territory, the United Partisan Organization has officially declared war on Stalik or Dresden Yakum. Governor threatened to punish these so called Nazis come for the crimes against the Jewish people, although any plans following an unlikely victory have not been broadcasted. The Mammon's long and horrifying history of partisan murders and terrorist attacks looks to set to fade into the winds of obscurity compared to what he's about to unleash upon Austin. He'll be crushed like a rat. Now we can go to war with these guys. Well, come on. Bro. Bro. Straight for the capital. The villain the rising. Oh. With the ongoing confusion as to just who is in charge of Austin, a new challenge has arrived. Andreas Marilano, a businessman and outspoken liberal, has gathered support in Vilna and declared his conviction to dispose the so-called legitimate Reichskommissar. Decrying the brutality with which Wehrmacht and SS troops have treated the former lands of Belarus and the Baltic, he insists on equality before the law for both German settlers, Slavs, and Balts. Veranica Ostlandiga, as he styles a new state, will stand against the oppressive German imperial regime. The revolters in Vilna have pledged their own allegiance to this banner. While they may not have the support of the Wehrmacht or the SS, the London's money and revolutionary fervor may give them the strength to take on any newcomers. But this liberal fall down, as we will. Oh, it's not going to be enough, is it? No more collaboration. Michael Vitushka, as someone did say. His name, to pronounce it correctly. Leader of the Black Cats Division of the Boston SS and long standing collaborator in the German occupation of Austin has evidently had enough. With the ongoing chaos consuming Austin, Vitushka has gathered enough support among the native Belarusian population who tire of German oppression. Vitushka has declared his intention to expel the German government of the region and restore the pride of the Belarusian people. Vitushka's only ally, and a tenuous one of that, is a united partisan organization led by Abba Kovner, an unchosen worthy friend at best. Both he and Kovner have expressed their loathing of the German occupation, though it remains to be seen just how long the UPO will stand with the Black Cat given his history of assisting the Germans for his own game. True colors, true colors have been revealed. Is that enough to capitulate him? We got him. Good. So now, you gotta do a solid front line here, if you can. And hold on, because we gotta kill these guys off first. Covenant's end. They had found him, finally. It taking 20 years, but Covenant had to admit it, the German dogs really got him this time. By slowly wearing away its forces, splitting them apart, and somehow getting into on his position, Covenant finally had to admit that it was over. His struggle against the Germans would die here. A machine gun round shot through the air and cracked off trees and branches, sending them crashing to the ground. The third mortar fire combined with the crack of gunfire to create a sound not too dissimilar to heck. Covenant loaded his rifle, the one he carried for over a decade now, stolen from a German army so many years ago, they would not take him alive. The final attack was brutal, but the Germans were strong in many, and their numbers and superior weaponry were proved to make all the difference. The addition of tanks helped matters immensely. Finally, when the gunfire was reduced to nothing, and the hill on which the Parsons were entrenched was nothing more than a cratered moonscape, the Germans leapt the barricades to find Covenant's corpse, laid down beside his men at the front, a single sh round shot clearly through the skull. The nightmare is over. How can we not break through here? Because of forts. Level 3 god dang forts. You know what? Force it. We've got to win here. I'm going to put you guys in here too. Um, charismatic, maybe. Yeah, might as well. And then, uh, Latvian, uh, Pino Latvian divisions. Conscript Lithuanian Germans. This is that one. The German Litauen are lucky enough to be far from the front lines, and native Lithuanians mostly resigned to their subservient position. We cannot allow this to suppress the German fighting spirit, however, for this is a war for the whole Volk. Even if they must be dragged from their farms, put a gun in their heads, in their hands and send them to the front lines, they will soon overcome their passive tendencies. At least that is the hope. Go through here. If we can go straight for a Vilna, that'd be impressive. Ooh, can't do that one now. Penal Latvian divisions. The Balts under occupy a peculiar position in the racial hierarchy. Neither appear like Aryans nor unworthy of like, like the Slav. This has served them well enough that their labor camps are filled with Latvian criminals and dissidents, diligently working for the benefit of the Reich, being spared to work another day. Well, no doubt they are filled with pride at serving their superiors if the battlefield calls for them. Front lines always need bodies, and while the Balts may not display Aryan strength and discipline, a body is still a body. Put a rifle in their hands and point them towards the enemy, and they will keep shooting so long as they feel like the, they feel the whip on their backs. No planes. I do have some planes here, but still. Good, go now. Go here and cut him off. If you can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oop. There you go. Force defense, force defense. 
Hmm. Why are you going there? That's so stupid. Why would you do that? Good. 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 Kill them off. Come on. Good. If they take Riga, we're kind of screwed, but that's okay. Alright. Well, not really, but you know, whatever. There you go. Whatever. You guys. Um. They want Calvin? They can have Calvin. I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but whatever. Um, alright, so this is all the people we're at war with. I want to finish these guys off here and keep moving up through this region and go snake up through this way. So. Mmm, yeah. Something like that, maybe. Nice. Good, get the tank down there. And now we can probably do the other one. Come on. There you go. Now we can do it. Good. Ser good. How about one of you guys just come over here, you ding-dongs? Stalka goes first. Dethrone the Pretender. Uh huh. Against a traitor. Group of population goes up. Target the students. We lose, keep losing a lot of attack and defense here. Well, who are we fighting right now? This is the Vaaniga Oslanda. We can enter the SS. More speed. Well, hmm. Starting with the partisans. Oh, well, we did this one already. We'll see. I'll see what whatever we can do next, though. They wanted to go in. That's fine. You know what? Let them all go in there. I'll take you guys too. Go around him. They want to do this type of crap, then oh, let them do it. Seriously. Come on. Come to this too? Alright, let's go here. They are going to starve no matter what. Come on, stop saving so much. Go in there. Help them out. Let him leave, let him leave. Don't 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 move, you ding dong. Oh, right. Uh, Strength of the Partisans. For 20 years, the monster has been looking in the deep woods of Belarusia. Every few hours, or for, every few years, some brave hunter and his party set out in the forest to hunt this most dangerous game, only to quickly find that for themselves were hunted. Those few who ever es escaped claim to have slain the beast, presenting trophies to prove their valor. But mere weeks later, mere corpses will be found to disillusion them of this fact. The men from the woods go where they please, do what they please, kill whom they please. Apokovic is not dead, and many insist he cannot be killed. This reputation is what made him the most feared man in Austin. And his organization is the blood of thousands of Germans on his hands. General Plan Austin is incomplete, and Covenant is living proof. Time to finish the job. Which we kind of already did, but whatever. Expand labor camps. Bring an, an end to the SS. Uh, uh, I want to make sure we do this one first. Andreas Meyer has been not but a nuisance since he returned to Austin. His stint in Poland evidently gave him some degenerate ideas. He spent his hoarded wealth in a copious spare time spreading these false ideas to the good youth of Austin. Foolish ideas like democracy and equality caused him to take up arms with the dem demagogue while he lines his pockets with looted wealth. 
We must be cruel to be, to be kind and cut out this infection before it spreads to the rest of our misguided children. Exactly what you wanted. Go here. Go here. Ah, very nice. Lamnor ten. The sound of a door shattering is an unmistakable boy. As though it snapped Lamnor out of his daze, he rushed to the window to see his armed men rushing towards his office, surely followed by the sound of gunfire. It dawned on him. He had left too late. He was surrounded with a curse. He ran back to his desk. He found what he was looking for in the third cabinet to the left. After much searching and cursing, a Luger P-38 made in 1942. Armed with a single magazine, an antique. He never used it. He cursed again as he fumbled with the magazine, listening to the gunfire grow louder and the footsteps grow closer. Finally, he clicked the magazine into place, pointing the gun at the door. He let out a sound of prayer as the footsteps stopped around his door. The bur door burst open, and Lamar closed his eyes as he squeezed the trigger over and over again. He cracked an eye open when he realized nothing had happened. So he turned the gun to the side. The safety was still on. Ha! Huh. It was the last thing Lamar would recognize before a hail of bullets cut him down, slamming him against the wall with a thud. The pistol slid from his hand as his suit, one immaculately clean, soaked red with his blood. Lamar is dead, and with him dies his dream. Pretty good. Take everything that we can. We need resources. We need materials. Strangle the possums. Very dense. More output too. That's not bad. Honestly, we just need divisions just to hold the line. Pretty much it. No, I'll do that. <clears throat> Hold. Where's the capital for this group? Ah, they're up here. So in essence, you should be starving then for supplies. Locked down the cities? Well, they'll know miss ours once again. The students simply will not shut up. Despite confiscating their arms for own use, Mayor Landroot's ideals remain in their minds. They've proven them innovative in their methods, laying improvised explosives and blocking roads to hinder our forces. Many even continue to take this to the streets to protest against our own their own liberation. This can continue no longer. I'll take many men, but we cannot tolerate insubordination. The cities will remain closed until further notice. We will see how long until the liberals stop complaining and start begging. It's their choice. And that shows very poorly. How can you not win here? I don't understand how they get this much supply when they have nothing. Like, they're, they're not connected to the capital at all. Hmm. How many divisions I've left? Uh, we have 14. What do we need to die? We need you to stop doing that. Come on. Let them spread themselves out. Take Minsk. No, are you kidding me? How did they get another division in there? Are you kidding me? That's stupid. Incredibly stupid. Oh, 
hope you're doing okay on fuel, though. Go up here, go up to here. Good. Help them out. Good. Lock down the cities. Final push against degeneracy. Um, you get more population. Lose attack. Control is this one. NVSS. Should I look who goes first? Uh, Let him push against the Genesee. Victory is but an heir's breath away. Separatist partisans are trying to sleep before the strength of the Rikes come to start, and in most of Austin's town's resistance is a dirty word. Like I say, however, resistance clings on, fighting our attempts to assert control with an almost pitiful futility. One push will be all that is required before the whole rotten structure comes crashing down. Uh, I'll get through some comments as we slowly go through this, too. Such as, plays Covenant, so you can be called a gamer. In the near future, can you play Kaz Redux as a PSA, but allow Kiwi Long as president? It's possible to do that, yeah. Uh, someone says it's Vitushka, not Vitutska. Someone says, do the general government to the Polish uprising? I don't think they have a focus tree at the time of this recording. Someone also asks, when did Austin get a focus tree? They've had a focus tree for a long time, actually. So. Someone else asks, can you do a thousand week Reich Russian Republic with no Novikov as president? Maybe if I remember. So, cool. Uh, if you want to go full on gaming, someone else says, UPO is your choice. Six million Germans? Yeah, well, we'll get there eventually. Someone else said, you should go variety to Ostlandia. Someone else says, hey, what's your goal for this run? My goal for this run is just kind of see and play every single one of these uh, nations, basically. Play, we can play pretty much everybody here. See what it's, what it's like, so. Someone else says, Alan Tropa is still there? Good. And some people were just very surprised to see that Austin actually has content here, so. Yeah. I know. That's why we did it. Mm, we're very spread out. But we do need to make an encirclement. So, here to here. That's probably the best bet. So let's concentrate our forces right here. Turn up the lines so these guys don't feel tempted to just leave. What are you doing? What you doing, son? No, you ding dongs. Ah, that says all the options just gone. Concentrate here, detect there. They're gonna start spreading out like crazy though. They can take these guys out, that'll be good too. Could you go any slower? Holy crap. They are so slow. This motorized division is pathetically slow. Cool. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Game. What? Oh god, the game is glitched up. It's really glitched up now. What the heck? No, you all can do that. You can rebel, maybe? Rebel now? Oh my god, are you kidding me? The game glitched it up. Um, it gets a traitor. Well, yeah, they're almost dead. It's really the next commissar at Austin when you get kill off. Final victory remains impossible when the German population of Austin is divided amongst itself, and the best instigator of the division is a pretender of Franz Walter Schalacher. So long as he claims to tell the Reich's commissar, German will fight German, all while the men from the woods wreak bloody havoc on the sidelines. Schalacher's death is obviously the only solution. I consider pushing to break his front lines, the storm of HQ will be all we need to restart rifle control of Austin. And then, message to the world. Riga has ever been ever the center of German civilization in the Baltic, and has continued that legacy as the administrative center of Austin. While Austin has a stall, it was a symbol of the chaos that reigns Austin, now that it has been finally been retaken, it's the message that the time of chaos is over. The Rex Commissar is intent on showing this to the world. All the Reich will know that there's only one authority in the East. You don't need to do that. You go there. Surround. Kill them off. Have a good time. Of course, there's another division there. Rujad's been elected. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're moving their divisions around, aren't they? Not you two, though. You're going to get in, so we're going to kill it off that way. Go there. A 
Are these guys killing each other or not? This is getting kind of annoying at this point. Do not lose Minsk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Oh, this would be nice. I'm usually a guy who's very against using um, militia, but you know, I do know that they do have their uses. They absolutely do have their uses, even though I really don't like them. Good. We're going to be definitely struggling up here in the north, though. Doing a bug? Yes. Here? Yes. Get some help. That'll be good. A little bit of debt, but we're doing okay economically. A little bit of deficit, but that's okay. War taxes? Not super worried about that right now. Can you go around him, maybe? Here, do that. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Well, actually, I want you to keep going in. Um, 64, look at that one, too. Not even sure we can make better motorized, but whatever, we'll try. Oh, get the radar station, that'd be good. Oh, they're definitely trying. Good. So you go up there and you just keep doing all that. It's fine. Nice. Message to the world. Against a traitor. I don't want to do any more of this because our attack and defense must be really bad. Or not. Okay. Oh, there's this one too. That'd be good. Give him a place. Hey, look at that. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that sucks. Against trader Michael Vitushka, as long as I live his usefulness. While we performed a vital role in maintaining tolerable relations between the native and the German colonists, he has appoint, apparently used this same role to build up the underground movement of the White Russians. Now the chaos of civil wars upon us, his fire has made the bit for regional dominance. If Vitushka is uh, permitted to remove White Russia from Austin, countless German soldiers will find themselves under a vengeful partisan state and cut off from the protection of the fatherland. Vitushka and his army must be destroyed, as it should, and it will be. If not, you go right there. You cut them all off. It's always a goal. Cut him off. Cut the head off the snake. And we got a lot of snakes. Retreat. Do not let them move. Do not let them move. Come on. Kill him off. Kill him off. Kill him off. Kill him off. Take that back. Good. Hold. Oh, you're getting hot. You're running out of supplies. You should not have pissed off the Reich. Uh, bring an end to the SS. The SS has been a third column undermining the Reich for too long. While most of Himmler's fanatics have been confined to Bruggy, there's always remained those members who seem to earn their faithful Hendrik's displeasure, T stalking throughout Germany and no doubt reporting on her every move. Now their true loyalties have been confirmed. If Himmler's zealots take Austin, they will subject it to unspeakable horrors, not to mention ex executing everyone in a government in a suitably horrific manner. These weeds must be dug out and destroyed before they wreak irreversible havoc with their Burgundian ethics. It should be too hard to follow the trail bodies. Are you kidding me? How are they able to just do this, like, so easily? They're just focusing on us so much more than they're focusing on each other. That's so annoying. Hold force defense. I don't care. You're going to stay here whether you like it or not.
Kill those god dang divisions off. Go in and take the capital. Or just go here and cut them off. Nice. Come on. Oh, this, this Civil War is honestly really annoying. It's very annoying. It's n it's okay. It's not bad. It's just very annoying. How's this guy not learning enough yet? How are the tanks not being able to broke god dang militia? Are you kidding me, bro? Uh, this one's been labor core. Uh, the UPO is shattered. Its members are either scattered to the four winds, stagnating into cellar molding in the grave. Finally, the greater threat to German dominance in Austin has been eliminated. And the general hand of government can be placed over the, more, over the peasants once more. Naturally, the Parsons cannot be allowed to continue to spread their subversive ideas to the rest of the natives, so for their own good, they must be confined and put to work. Any metropolitan German would be welcome uh, for the job security found in the Malay thrust nets. How many can both have the same job their whole life? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. Every last one of these goddamn traitors needed to die. How are they able to spread out with so many more divisions? I hate how that they just get more divisions in us. This is so stupid. Go in. You're not going to give up. No, I don't give a crap about whether you give up or not. You cannot give up. Got the bulk sturm. Well, you're done. Marine-wise, these guys are they're okay. I'm not going to complain about them too much, but my god. Like, they have, like, infinite equipment or something, somehow. You can't win. Oh my god, how? Go, just take the back. Keep them in place so they cannot move. Go, 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 go. Are you kidding? How many more divisions do they have? Holy crap, what is wrong with this? What the heck is wrong with this? How? How, 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 how? Go in. How, how are you defeated? Come on. It's like they're not even focusing on each other at all. One battle does not confirm that they're focusing on each other at all. This is incredibly stupid. Go back in, go back in, go back in. They suffer no attrition. They're not killing each other. They're really just not. It's just so stupid. Can you actually do an encirclement or not? The upper camps are not good enough for them, but scorch the earth. No longer does SS Black stay in the map, but Ambush Dogs continue to roam this countryside. They refuse to see the hopelessness of the cause, but slowly but surely they draw their plans against us. They refuse to acknowledge the reality in the a home of Duneburg, where the heart of the corruption lies in den of criminality, inquity, and sabotage. Well, so be it. If they don't want to surrender, we will under, are no, under no obligation to be t generous. <clears throat> a bullet for everyone aiding the Black Soul and Sauber Terrace problem will provide for us some much needed peace of mind. Let Gullin will burn before the WSS are permitted to plot freely again. Vitushka's escape. Vitushka had it all planned out from the start. With his enemies closing in, he threw his next best and last plan into action, one of the deceitous and trickery. One in which the other factions would only be able to look out on all and fire all around. Body doubles, fake vans, false gunfights, and fake deaths. At the end of it all, Vitushka could only grin as he entered his car. It was the work of a Machiavellian genius, and he was certainly taking pride in that. As he drove through the night towards the board, he thought of his ambitions. Yes, they had certainly taken a hit, and perhaps his chances of controlling Austin were doomed, but that certainly was a shame. But Vitushka was alive, and. He was certainly not doomed. Soon enough, he'd be back, and that time he'd be better prepared. Tushko would be the man in charge eventually, one way or another, and even if it took the rest of his life to manage it. Now the page of history turns, and I'll be honest, that is bull crap. I hate... I mean, the devs have, like... I don't know, I'm not sure if the devs' fault, but, like, trying to take him out was such a pain in the butt, I cannot recommend it. It was such a pain in the butt. I cannot recommend you trying out the Civil War because of that. The Belarusians obviously would fight very hard here. I get it, you know. Why are we doing so well against these guys? I don't understand. Why, these guys are relatively easy. We are forcing the attack. But these guys are a pain in the ass. I mean, it's, just, it's not worth it. It's not worth playing or fighting these guys. So, um, yeah. I, I don't know what's up the devs buzz about having them be so strong, but it's not fun. It's just not fun. But, 
Can we do that one finally? And we did do the question of the Boffin SS. Matushka built his power base while conducting the Reich's works with the Black Cats, his own all Belarusian Boffin SS unit. Now he's one of the most dangerous men in Austin, and virtually every Belarusian division wants to get loyal to the Reich is not affected to his cause. Defections have been reported from smaller Baltic units, too, not only to the White Russian movement, but to Abakovner's own UPO. Lithuanians, Latvians, and Estonians are considered by most of the German population to be now of questionable loyalty, and many worry about constantly having to look over the shoulders of the comrades who may stab them in the back when the time is ripe. A decision must be made about the native often SS. The fear cannot stand. Expertise is necessary for Austin's civility. Stern. We should never work with the subhuman traders. Purge them all. Yeah, purge them all. At this point, they don't deserve to live. They really do not deserve to live at all. It, it, it was just ridiculous. They just kept crapping out division after division after division after division. It's not... I would, I would say it should be balanced. I'm not saying it should, but like... It was not fun. It was not worth doing. I guarantee you that. It's not worth doing. With how frustrating, how stupid this is sometimes. But then again, this is TNO and things are... Up in the air sometimes. Well, we've certainly eliminated up to four divisions good. Don't let him live. Seriously, don't let him live. We're going to attack, 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 attack until they literally all die. Go there. Um, it's not bad. Go in. Seriously, don't let any of them move. If anything, you go there and go there and go there. There you go. Ta-da! Actually, you do that. Good. Cut them all off. Cut their heads off. Cut the family's heads off. At this point, I don't care. I don't know why these guys are so easy. Super, super easy compared to the one group. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It literally makes no sense. Why? Looking to the colonies. Peace has been restored. Our governor finally fertilizes the dirt of the land he defended. Michael Vatushka's treachery has been repaid twice over. Uh, Twelve times over. And every would-be Reich's commissar has been disposed of with great prejudice. Now Austin can return to his position as the Reich's model colony, a peaceful and a quiet people. It has always been dressed as droll, despite the brutal methods he's been forced to take it to achieve it. Come and see. And when I play as the White Russians, it, it's going to be super easy, probably. Like, it, it, it's, it's just not worth playing. It's just not worth it. Or fighting against them. Jesus Christ. 20 divisions compared to everyone's like 10 to 15. Not acceptable. Honestly, well, we're on the wrong doctrine to begin with. Um, all but you, and then you, 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 you. Infantry. Straight infantry. Dresser wins. This can only mean more conflict. And it probably only means more conflict. Ah, Bowman's winning. Regardless, it's not good for us, anyways, but still. Um, no navy, of course. Max spending, extremely high deficit. Temp tax hike. Military austerity. We have no inflation, at least. No one for some more growth. Uh, just, uh, what's costing us most? Civilian spending? Let me see that, yeah. Well, we do have fare right now. But it is going down. No, it's, not, it's actually going up. Okay. Well, we'll see. Burn the fanatics. Now, after we win here, we should just be able to, like, purge everybody. Like, seriously, just be able to purge, like, all these resistance groups. Just, just murder, like, go through, murder every single, like, resistance group that actually wanted to kill us off. It only makes sense. It only makes sense. But let's see what, this is the end. God dang, is this, is this tough? All right. But I still want to try the other, other paths. So, ah, that's what I thought. That's basically the end of Austin for now. Obviously, I think Austin's going to get a, a facelift in the future. But I hope the devs might look at the Civil War. I mean, it, it might be the way they already intended it. I've been wrong before about things. And I might be wrong right now, too. But my god, was that just one of the worst things I've done in TNO. Not as bad as playing as a moor, but Jesus Christ, was it was not fun. But hey, if you enjoyed this very short part of this campaign, leave a national socialist like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. 
and I'll see you tomorrow as we play probably another group in Austin. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.